guys what's going on james here and this is the first of two videos that i want to be uploading tonight and the first one's pretty big news for packers fans it is that the green bay packers have hired tennessee titans offensive coordinator matt lefleur he has one of the coolest names in the nfl to say but they have hired titans offensive coordinator matt lefleur as their head coach for the 2019 season and if i'm being honest with you guys this move you know it's good all things considered it does have its goods but it also has its strange to it as well but let's start by talking about Matt LaFleur the brand new head coach of the Green Bay Packers he's only 39 years old continuing this trend of teams hiring these young offensive mastermindy type guys from Kyle Shanahan to Matt Nagy to Sean McVay being the three most famous ones Matt LaFleur now joins that group in kind of a new wave in terms of overall uh, NFL movement of these coaches now becoming younger and younger offensive offensive masterminds Matt LaFleur joins that group of guys so you know if you're a Green Bay Packers fan who likes that whole movement you know good for that good for you guys because this is pretty much another example of that I'm um, going into his overall career so far up to this point and nothing too impressive he really started working for the NFL back in 2008 when he was an offensive quality control coach for the Houston Texans for a couple of years he would then transition into a role as the quarterbacks coach which with the Washington Redskins where he would spend some time with Sean McVay you know one of the best offensive gurus in the league right now if not the best offensive guru so he's worked with some really good offensively minded coaches before he would then transition to Notre Dame where he would be the quarterback coach with Brian Kelly as the head coach again another phenomenal Phenomenal guy to be working under. He would then go to the Atlanta Falcons where he would be the quarterback coach, which again, working with, I believe Dan Quinn was there at the time, and I believe. I don't believe Dirk Cutter was there at the time. I think it was um, Sarkeesian or whatever his name was, but you know that was a little bit of a drop off. He would then go to the Los Angeles Rams in 2017, where he would continue to join up with Sean McVay. You know, again, continuing to work with him. And then this past year, he was with the Tennessee Titans as their offensive coordinator. So all things considered, this guy has been under a lot of really nice coaching staffs. All things considered, and you know he's learned a lot. I've imagined from Sean McVay, Brian Kelly over at Notre Dame. Uh, the Houston Texans can definitely teach you some things. The Atlanta Falcons, you know, their offense has been good for a few years now. So there's a lot of good offensive minded people that uh, Matt LaFleur has been under. The biggest question is whenever he did finally have full control of his own offense as offensive coordinator, not so much with the St. Louis Rams because he was working with Sean McVay then, but with the Tennessee Titans, things were fine. Um, you know, the the Tennessee Titans offense wasn't necessarily bad per se, but it definitely de uh, depended a whole heck of a lot on the run. Marcus Mariota, you know, he's very injury prone and he wasn't necessarily given the opportunity to throw the ball, the throw the ball a whole lot, which I completely understand. I think the, them using the run game was completely the right move, but I'm very interest, interested to see what happens with the Green Bay Packers and Matt LaFleur coming in with Aaron Rodgers. They're basically almost the same age, by the way. Um, not, not not necessarily, but it will be interesting regardless to see what happens. Um, and the way the Green Bay Packers use, you know, and how long they keep head coaches, I think Matt LaFleur is going to say at least until the end of Aaron Rodgers' career, you know, be that however many years away, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, whatever's going to happen. Um, probably not that long, but, you know, I do believe that Matt LaFleur is still going to be the head coach even whenever Aaron Rodgers' career is all said and done. They keep their head coaches for a long time because, you know, that, it actually works in certain ways. So fair credit to the Packers. You know, they, they know how to pick coaches and they know how to keep coaches there for a long time. And because they've built such a winning organization, you know, things just work out well for them. Um, but I am very interested to see how this offense works. I think since he's very young and he's very... Uh, offensively minded working with guys like Sean McVay I think he's going to challenge Aaron Rodgers and he's going to challenge this offense to be better than what it's been the past couple of seasons because I will admit I think it's been kind of stagnant in certain ways I will say Mike McCarthy might have gotten stubborn about a lot of things specifically um you know in terms of the overall use of weaponry and whatnot you usually only saw a lot of passes going to the way of Devontae Adams and maybe Jimmy Graham in certain situations and then that was pretty much it um so now maybe you can see a lot more of a spread attack with Aaron Rodgers maybe you're going to see some new offensive pieces come into this team you might even see the ball ran a little bit more especially with Aaron Jones in at the running back position you should run the ball more take some of that pressure off of Aaron Rodgers especially as he's getting a lot more banged up in his later years take some of that pressure off and let Aaron relax and 
and really just start to run this offense in the best way he can because I think after you get a more balanced attack this Green Bay Packers team can continue to be dominant again because the defense is on the rise the defense is on the rise with a really young defensive core you just got to really balance things out here and I think Matt LaFleur is one of the perfect guys to balance out that offense um, it's going to be really it's going to be really important who he decides to bring in as his defensive coordinator there's a ton of great options out there we'll just have to wait and see but yeah I like this hire all things considered there is a little bit of weirdness we don't know how his offenses can truly be um, it was really run heavy with the Tennessee Titans which will probably have a little bit of a weirder look with the Green Bay Packers but it's Aaron Rodgers you're going to build your offense around Aaron Rodgers regardless so I don't think a lot of things are going to change on that regard probably things are going to get more balanced at least that would be my hope um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole move down in the comment section below. Green Bay Packers fans, sound off. What do you think about Matt LaFleur? Was he your top pick? Me personally, I wanted to see Todd Munkin become the head coach of the Green Bay Packers. He was like this close, man. He was so close. I thought he would have done some awesome things for this Packers offense and really get that deep ball going. Things could still happen along the lines of that with Matt LaFleur. We'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. Packers fans, let me know. Um, and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.